I was born in Amarillo, Texas, and at the age of nine, I had a nothing, no desire but to paint. So my mother and father sent me to Ben Carlton Mead, who was a very noted Western illustrator. He was had uh, he'd been oh he wrote many books and illustrated them, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. We had uh, many experiences. We went to the Paladir Canyon for a two-week painting trip. While we were down there, a head riser came, and we were in the canyon for a week with no food. We couldn't get out of the canyon, and uh, we even, he offered to cook a rattlesnake he killed, but we didn't do that. <laughs> but we had oatmeal for about a week. And uh, I also took from a, a nun at a, a convent. Uh, her name was Sister Maria Sikora. She was a beautiful artist. And she used to go around and pick her robe up. She had a very heavy robe. Oh, we have to wear these heavy things. <laughs> she was a marvelous artist. And uh, from there I went, after graduation, I, st I also had art in high school. And I painted a mural on the high school wall. The high school later burned, so it's, it, it's gone. But I went to a girls' school, Lindenwood College, in St. Charles, Missouri, and I received the Mary Sibley Art Award that year, and uh, I was not pleased with the college. I wasn't, I felt like, well, part of the time I was helping the teacher teach, and I thought, no, this isn't what I want. So I took my grandmother and we went, came to Ringling School of Art in Sarasota, Florida the following year. And I lived with her in the apartment and went to that school. Uh, I was sitting on the bed doing an assignment one night and the radio said Pearl Harbor had been blown up. And that started a whole new era for us. Really all of the boys in the school left for the war. And uh, meanwhile, I had met a boy there that I liked very much. He later became my husband. He was a cartoonist, and he was drawing the Alley Oop comic strip, which is a caveman comic strip, V.T. Hamlin. Uh, we, he, the war was getting real hot. And he knew he was going to be drafted soon, so we got married, and uh, he joined the Navy. We moved to San Diego, California. He was in boot camp out there. And uh, I had both my children in California. And we really enjoyed California. It was, uh, they had a a war, we thought we were going to be attacked any minute. They had sandbags all over the banks and all that, and it was rather frightening. But uh, he never did, he was on a minesweeper, and he never did have to go overseas. After the war, we came to Alabama because he was an Alabama boy, and he was offered a job by his cousin. So we came to Alabama, Mobile, and uh, one Saturday, we, this child came over and wanted to know if we'd help draw something, and it gave us the idea to start teaching. We started with, I think, ten children, and we had the worst-looking car. I think it got about seven miles to the gallon. It was a LaSalle. You couldn't find a new car after the war. And we piled all these children in, and we usually went to buy a battery to paint and sketch. And uh, 
I remember we charged a dollar a lesson. We, they brought a bag lunch. We stayed all, they stayed all day. We had a marvelous time. And uh, from there on, the classes grew. I've had, I think through the years, I imagine I've had thousand children at least through the years. My husband had a stroke in, I forget the date, but he, he was, he died in, I still miss him. He was, he helped me teach and he did what I didn't know how to do. He did pen and ink and cartooning and uh, he was in architecture. I knew nothing of that, so we made a good couple. And uh, we moved this studio. I've been teaching here since 62. We built the house with this studio. And uh, I've enjoyed it very much.